Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and next Wednesday, next Wednesday is breakfast. So that is the end of purification. So mark it on your calendars. Next week is breakfast. And today we have for you an important topic. This important topic is nothing can come between goddess and her children. And this is true. Nothing can come between goddess and her children. Not wealth, not fame, not lust. Sin is a thing to be overcome. So what does this mean? This means that in the end, at the end of time, everyone will be, will be uh, redeemed. Everyone will be redeemed at the end of time. And nothing can come between goddess and her children. She's always got open arms to receive her children when they need her. And if they call out to her, she will she will take the time to talk to them and to mother them and to care for them so just take the time out to pray to goddess and and pray to her to redeem you and she will be your redeemer goddess will be your redeemer goddess always listens to her children no matter what no matter what the circumstances are, she always listens to her children. So take the time to pray to Goddess, and Goddess will answer you in her own way. She's got different ways of answering people, of course, but she will answer you in her own way. You'll find an answer to your question. So, Goddess, nothing can come between Goddess and her children. Not wealth. A lot of people believe that wealth is a barrier to the spiritual life, especially in India. They, the Hindu believes that wealth is a great barrier to being a spiritual being and that you have to give up all of your wealth in order to be spiritual. Well, I'm here to tell you that is not true. Wealth is not a barrier. How you use your wealth it can be a barrier, but not wealth in itself cannot be a barrier to uh, be the spiritual life. And in fact, goddess loves her wealthy children just as much as she loves her poor, poor children. She loves them equally. So wealth doesn't make goddess love you more, and it doesn't make goddess love you less. Wealth is just a thing, and... It, wealth is not a barrier to to uh, being with goddess or having her accept you or or take you in. Not fame. A lot of people think that people who seek fame, not people who are famous necessarily, but people who seek fame are not spiritual. And that they have a barrier between themselves and goddess. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not true either. Famous people can get in touch with goddess just as easily as wealthy people can. And in fact, so goddess answers all prayers. She answers all prayers. Sometimes the answer to a prayer is no, but she does answer prayers. So... Wealth and fame are not barriers between yourself and goddess. You can be wealthy and you can be famous, or you can be not wealthy and not famous, and goddess will accept you just the same. Just the same. She'll accept you just the same. So that, so that isn't a barrier. Not lust. A lot of people think that lust is a barrier to goddess and that you have to be um, um, a non-lustful person 
to be to be able to uh, be with goddess but it isn't true lust is not a barrier to goddess although how you use your lust could be a barrier to goddess like for example a child molester would be uh, would be putting a barrier between himself and goddess but lust in and of itself is not a barrier to goddess and you can have your lover and you can enjoy your lover and goddess isn't going to put a barrier between yourself and her now if you make a promise to another person if you make a promise to another person and you break it like for example wedding vows goddess might take it personally but she isn't going to put a barrier between yourself and her because of that so you can still talk to her and you can still go to her and reach out to her even if you've cheated in your marriage which isn't a very good thing to do and goddess doesn't approve but she will still answer your prayers she won't put any barriers between yourself and her just for sin so this is an important thing to note because some people think that these things are barriers to the spiritual life and they're not barriers to the spiritual life however however some of them are very important like how you use your wealth or how you use your lust but they're not barriers between yourself and goddess goddess doesn't put up any barriers between herself and you okay she is open to all of her children at all times so even if you've committed a sin even if it's a grave sin you can still pray to goddess for help and you can pray to her anytime anywhere for help if if you need it if you feel the need to pray to goddess you can pray to goddess for help if you need it so wealth fame and lust are not barriers to goddess uh sin is somewhat of a barrier but it's not a real barrier it's it's uh, you can still communicate with goddess she doesn't approve of sin but you can still communicate with her very well and so it just uh remember that um goddess loves you and no matter what you do goddess will always love you she'll always love all of her children that she's created because she's created each of us special and she loves each of us especially much so don't feel like there's a barrier between yourself and her and that you can't go to her you can go to her no matter what you've done and you might wind up in hell but you can still go to her you can still you can still talk to her and receive an answer from her even if you're in hell and she will answer you because she never puts a barrier between herself and her children and nobody goes to hell forever this is an important thing no nobody goes to hell forever people are redeemed by goddess they're redeemable by goddess and people have been redeemed by goddess so don't feel like like there's any barrier between yourself and her there isn't you can go to goddess with all of your problems and all of your troubles and she will answer you no matter who you are i'm sarah jane alpha wolf signing off have a great week and remember purification ends next Wednesday.